Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame. So, in the last episode, we... Wait, what? Alright, old news article. So, in the last episode, we made it further into the mansion. We saw some new kinds of ghost enemies, and we also fought this weird one that had a flailing head and was saying, Give back my child! And he kind of killed us, and... I had to use the revived snow that I had just found. Kind of sucked. On the night of the third, the police received a report that the four children failed to return home after 9 p.m. There's an old superstition in the surrounding villages about children being snatched away by ghosts, and some villages indeed suspect that this is what happened to the four kids. Well, that kind of sucks. So I can either head in here or go down for that. I think I'm gonna head in here. What? Never mind. Not hitting in there. That door is not a real door. This one is. There are buttons with characters that this device must open the door. There's engravings underneath, but it's gouged. I can only read some. I can just barely make out the Shinto ritual strangling and held on the day of from the gouged out words. Okay, so these were the symbols. So I need to. Oh, I can't solve this puzzle yet? I have this. I have this, uh. Uh. thing. I had one of these things that told me about those symbols. I guess, yeah, I probably should do anything with those yet. Yeah. Lion mask and editor stuff. Why can't I open this door? This has to be a bolt. I don't just stick a door on a wall and just not have any... Why can't I open it? I, I think the chat's lying to me. These are... Nope, they're saying it's a real thing. Alright, PSN glitch. That better not be thin. It can be opened. The other door is doing that as well. Um, are you sure there's not? Okay. Just a minute. I'm gonna try for another minute to see what's going on with it. If this is seriously happening, then I'll have to reset it. See if that fixes it. Okay. Okay. Lady, stop running in one solid line. You can turn. It doesn't have to be so sharp either. Shush, PK. This isn't funny. I need to. I need to be able to get through here. <laughs> I can't, if I can't get through here, then what am I supposed to do? These doors are meant to be open. Yes, I get that. And um, um, this isn't good. <laughs> this isn't. I. I need to get through this door, but the door doesn't even know it's a door. It thinks it's a wall. It's pretending to be a wall, even though I know it's a door. I can see that it's a door. It's like, 
It's like an Asian man trying to pretend he's black when he's obviously Asian, even if, even without any stereotypes involved, you cannot be a different skin color than you are, and you shouldn't try to be, because then that, of itself, is kind of disrespectful to, A, your heritage, and B, to the other people involved. And this door, he's doing that. He's just dis disrespecting the door heritage. He's disrespecting the walls around him trying to be like them, and he's just being a dick. I don't care if you want to act like one and be tough and stuff, but just don't, don't be like that. Oh, really? I, I reset the game, and this is what I get. No. No. Please. No. All I wanted, all I wanted was to play this game. And you're not doing this to me, are you? Alright guys, so, here's my conclusion. This is really the end, for now. It's for now. Eventually I'll have to come back to this. I'll have to buy a physical disc, even though I own both Fatal Frame 1 and 2 on PSN. But apparently these games are broken on PSN. Apparently there are a lot of deadly glitches on PSN. Apparently, PSN has a bad port job, especially for games that are not main priority, like the Fatal Frame series. From what I can tell, they do a decent job on some of the other games, some of the older... Oh, hey, you can move around your hand, I just noticed that. Uh, for games like... I don't know. Uh, any game, really, that's really important to fans, that has a huge fan following, like, I don't know, the Mega Man games? Or something? Crash Bandicoot, that's a good example. It, those tend to be pretty good uh, port jobs. But these? No. Apparently, they leave these games broken. I noticed at one point when someone was holding the camera that it was flat out missing part of the model and textures. And I was like, huh, is that just they didn't notice it because it was smaller at the time and just not as detailed? But no, I'm pretty sure that's a break in the game. Apparently, this game's just flat out broken. I was like, oh. That's unfortunate. So, until next time, whenever it is I can get a physical copy of this game and actually play through it, I'm gonna actually gonna have I'm gonna have to say sorry, and I can't finish this yet. I'll be playing some other games in the future, some other horror-ish style, style games. I'm sorry I didn't scream or anything because a lot of people like that in this kind of thing, but it's not exactly my thing. It. The only part that was actually strenuous on me was the one guy who was flailing about and saying he wanted his child back, and I honestly know. That's really my look back on this playthrough of Fatal Frame, and well, I'll see you in the next video that I do. Adios, amigos. I heard he was saying give back my child. All the same, don't want to give back his child. I'd probably want to keep it for myself at this point and just mock him with it.